Welcome back, everybody. CK here with AJR Racing. If you're new here, welcome. I had a, a viewer by the name of GB uh, asking about how to get his settings uh, better for his quest because it wasn't quite clear enough. So I thought, what a great idea for a video. And so uh, that's what we are doing here today. And uh, so I'm going to be covering uh, the UI settings that I use uh, for Oculus as well as uh, how to use the debug tool. And uh, really that's where the magic happens is getting uh, that dialed in. And then you can make things really look good uh, for the quest with the link cable. This is for the quest with the link cable. So anyway, without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna go over some of these uh, settings here. Uh, so you wanna go down from home to devices Go into Quest 3 and come down to Graphics Preferences. Um, by the way, you don't need to be uh, on the link cable, but anytime you do adjust these, you'll need to do a restart, um, which it says right here. But um, basically, I'm at 90 hertz. I got the slider all the way, maximum graphics, render resolution 5408 by uh, 2896. Um, so once you get that there, and keep in mind we're running a 3090 with uh, it's overclocked as well, and uh, run a 13900K. So if you have a little little bit less of a system or more, you can adjust accordingly. But uh, start from here, maximized, and then kind of work your way down, or you can work your way up. I mean, really, it's up to you. But uh, that's kind of the way I did it because you're going to move over to uh, this secret menu over here. And so you're going to want to go into your local disk C drive. You want to get to your program files. You're going to want to go to Oculus, support tab, and then Oculus Diagnostics. And that's going to bring you right here. And we're going to need this one right here, Oculus Debug Tool. And... This is the special menu that I was talking about. And what you'll want to do uh, is, well, I did this. I mean, it's up to you, but I made a shortcut. So it's just right here on my desktop and get to it, you know, quickly. Um, but uh, yeah, you go into here, double click that. And here are my settings for this. Okay. The most important ones are right here. Normally this is zero encode bit rate. And then this one, link sharpening. These are the most important ones on this list. You can copy these other things. I don't remember what I changed. But uh, yeah, I would just copy these because I got them from another trusted source. But um, here you want to do encode rate. The highest you can go is 500. Um, you know, you can go as low as 100 if you want. Um Apparently, you could copy paste up to 900 if you have a 4090 graphics card. Um, but I haven't been able to successfully copy paste above 500. Um, apparently, you can copy and paste it from one node or something. But I've tried like everything, you know, even if you go right here and, uh, you know, we copy this and then try and paste it in here, it won't let you. Um, yeah. Control V. I could try Control V. Let's try that. Hmm. I guess that's how you do it. Hmm. All right. So that's how you do it. So you got to hit the Control V. I just figured it out just now. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to try out 600 and see how it goes. But you could go as high as 900, apparently. Um, you might want to uh, experiment with that, going higher or lower. I uh, I was doing it in increments of 100, and uh, worked out pretty good. But I'm excited to try 600. Maybe it'll be uh, better. Uh, maybe that'll be too high too for uh, um, my system. But uh, I'll probably uh, you know we'll probably get some questions in the comments. So we'll discuss it. But um, yeah, I'm super pumped. I just figured that out. <laughs> I guess, you know, it won't let you insert it with the mouse, but you can do the control V and that'll work. So learn something new every day. 
All right, so uh, from here, I'm going to go over to uh, iRacing and show you the uh, settings that I have in VR itself. And those settings will actually, I think, apply to any headset. You can kind of, uh, I'll show you things that uh, you can optimize. But uh, yeah, we'll move over to that here in just a second. All right, so taking a look around, I noticed that 600 setting might be a little too high for my setup now. You know, it was at 500 and it was pretty good. I'm noticing like a little bit of glitching and and uh, yeah, the headset seems a, a little bit unhappy. So I might play with that a little bit more, but I did want to get into here and show you uh, the settings for uh, graphics that you could really apply to any any um, headset if you want to. But uh, we're looking at uh, you know clouds really insignificant. Keep those low. Uh, cars is up to you. I like high detail. I like to see things on the other cars. Um, the event, I like high detail. Grandstand, high detail. Crowds, you know, you really don't see crowds too much when you're driving. Uh, if you got a really good graphics card, you know, turn those up a little bit higher, but they're really unnecessary. You can either turn these off or leave them on low for optimization. Objects, high detail. Uh, foliage, you uh, want to keep uh, to off. This is an absolute killer. Um, you got to have one heck of a system to be running this. I don't even know if people on a 4090 can do it in VR. Um, if you are, let me know in the comments below. I'm just interested because uh, I do want to get a new graphics card at some point, but uh, I'm not going to pay uh, <laughs> scalper prices to get one. Uh, I thought about getting an XTX possibly. Uh, here, that's a pretty good card and compares pretty well to the 4090. Uh, as long as you're not doing uh, <laughs> editing. But uh, particles, I keep it full res. Uh, particles, uh, medium here. This is a big killer as well uh, for performance. Uh, max cars, you know, you want to keep that correct so uh, your spotter is right. I draw all cars, but I always draw minimum pits. There's no need to see a bunch of cars in the pits when you're racing. It's pointless. If you got the graphics card to carry it, by all means, do it. Uh, frame rate, I keep no limit. Um, dynamic cube maps, these are a killer too. I keep all that off. I got uh, ultra detail here. Uh, PCF filter is maxed out at 16p filter. Um, shadow maps, I keep off. This is another big uh, performance killer. Um, antistropic filtering, I keep at uh, 16x, which is maxed. Uh, MSAA samples, uh, 8x. Uh, that's, you can go a little lower on that. That'll help your performance as well. Um, I do do, uh, dynamic track data, uh, cockpits, you know, feel, uh, virtual mirror is a big killer too. So if you're running VR, um, you really don't need a virtual mirror, but you know, I understand if you've gotten used to it and that's just the way you roll. But, uh, you know, with VR, you can, you can look at your mirrors and, uh, be fine. I've been racing without a virtual mirror ever since I started VR pretty much. Uh, cockpit mirrors, I keep it three. Sometimes I run in, uh, you know, different cars. And so you'll have the, uh, center mirror also, or sometimes, uh, you won't have a center mirror, but you'll have a center screen. So I keep that up to three, uh, you know, going up to four can be a performance killer as well. I like sharpening on, uh, any of the anti-aliasing I leave to, uh, the headset itself. Uh, SSR, this is a big one. This has to do with the rain. This is brand new. Um, I just keep it off when I turned it on. Um, it seemed to affect performance, but we have no rain yet, so I'm not even messing with this just yet. But uh, you can look into this a little bit and uh, you know, let me know what you came up with and, and tell me, you know, how it affects your gameplay. But uh, I think that's about it. Um, this resolution just has. I don't even know if this even matters if you set this in VR. Um, I don't think it does, to be honest. Uh, resolution scaling, none. UI zoom, you know, that's up to you. That's uh, just depending on your eyes, you know. <laughs> uh, I can see it's glitching a little bit. It doesn't like that 600 setting. Uh, and then I do, I do run reflex. I probably don't need to because I have a 13900. But it isn't, my 13.9 is not overclocked. I think I'm running minimal limits um, to where it runs pretty efficiently. So I haven't really seen my uh, CPU get 
uh, bottlenecked at all. Um, or uh, bogged down anyway. But uh, yeah. Hopefully this helps you guys out and uh, we'll see you at the next one. Oh, one more thing, guys. I forgot to mention, uh, you could turn this off to help performance, too. Um, let's see. Enable this option to allow creation of large replays. Yeah, so if you're doing endurance racing, uh, enable this. But otherwise, you can pretty much just keep this off. Um, so, yeah, if you have uh, if you have low system RAM here, uh, you might want to turn this off. You really only need this for uh, long replays. So that's up to you. I turn these off too, by the way. Uh, you know, replay settings you'll you'll have to mess with. But uh, so one other thing that you can kind of tweak too is uh, replay spooling. That'll help uh, if you have low RAM. Uh, you can turn this off, but it limits your replay size. So uh, that's something you can play with, and uh, might help your performance. Try it out. Tell me what you think. But uh, anyway, we'll see you at the next one.